Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching or clicking on this video in the first place. But today we are going to do this look here. I talk you through pretty much everything. We do eyes, face, brows, pretty much everything. So it's pretty cool, a little like a bank holiday fun makeup if you like. But yeah, if you like to see how I completed this look in full, then please keep on watching. Hello. So we're gonna start off with the brows. I never used to like doing brows first, but all of a sudden, I just love doing them first. I think it neatens everything up. So what we're going to do is just gonna grab a spoolie. I'll just show you on one brow. I'm gonna brush up. I'm gonna take an angled brush like this. This is just a Morphe one that I've got and a little um, dip brow here. This is from Inglot in the shade 16. So we're just gonna dip the brush into it. So what I'll do first is go underneath it and then down and then go through it and then go over the top and what is left on my brush I'll just put through the front of the brow. Once I've got the brows on, I'm just going to pick up this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW20. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that on the back of my hand. I'm just going to grab this Inglot 26S brush. It's just tiny. All I'm going to do is just map out the underneath of my brow. I'm not going to do over the top because I don't like them to look like square, if that makes sense. I just like them to be shaped, but only on the bottom. I'll show you, it works out at the end, I promise. <laughs> Just like that, and when I've carved out the underneath of it, I'm gonna pick more up on the brush and just go over the lid as well. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna pick up an Inglot 4SS brush and make sure that concealer is pressed into my skin. Okay, now I haven't powdered down any of that concealer or anything. I've literally just finished going over the top of it and pressing it down into my skin with that big black brush. Now we're going to pick up the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, this one here. And I'm going to pick up the shade Eden. That is this one right here. It's quite a warm peachy um, colour, I'd say. And there's the Weaver 221 brush. And we're just going to go circle actions, but like all the way around. I'm not going to bother doing it too neatly or anything like that. We just need the colour on at the minute. I'm just going to go all over the lid with that. Okay, now I've blended that in, I'm just going to pick up the shade Amber. That's the darker one next to it there. And I'm just going to go on the outer corner and a little bit in the crease as well and bring it down like that on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to bring it in a little bit as well just on uh, in the crease there. going to bring that colour a little bit on the lid as well. Now I'm just going to pick up a Charlotte Tilbury Eye Blender brush and I'm just going to go around the outside and really just blend it. Now I've blended all that out, I'm going to go in with the shade Oud. It's that brown one there that's kind of got a fingernail in it. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? I was, that just me, but it happens all the time. I'm gonna pick this up on a JH32 brush and I'm just going to go in the outer corner 
and on the lash line a little bit as well. And a little bit up here as well, just like that, to get a little bit of depth into this eye look. And once I've done that, I'm just going to pick up Blood Moon, which is that gorgeous shade uh, right there on my finger. And I'm just going to put it on the lid. I'm just going to leap forward. <laughs> but I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to kind of like blend it in with my finger as well. Just like that. I'm going to pick up that brush again, the JH32, and dip into that brown shade Ooh there. And I'm just going to go one more time on the outer corner and in a little bit as well. Just like that. Then I'm just going to pick up that Charlotte Tilbury eye blender brush with no product on it and just blend, blend the outsides of it. Once I've finished really blending out my eyes, I'm just gonna grab a wipe and I'm just gonna tidy up the underneath of my eyes. Let's just make sure that when you put like your concealer down or foundation or wherever the fallout's gone to, um, it's gonna be like nice and fresh. And you're not gonna have any dark bags at all. So brilliant, done the wipe. Before I dive into my foundation, I've actually just got a bit of MAC strobe cream. I'm just gonna put that on my finger like that. And I'm just gonna put it on my nose, my forehead, chin, cheeks. And I'm just gonna blend that out in those areas. This will just give you that really, really like radiant glow underneath your foundation. Get it in my hair, but you know, <laughs> works the same. There we go. So now I've got a much like fresher look on my skin already without even having any foundation on. Foundation I'm gonna use today is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 8E01, I think, whatever that shade is. Take that what you will. And I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use the JH03 foundation brush, basically just to blend that out. Remember as well, bring it down your neck a little bit. And just because I don't particularly like the colour of my lips, I'm just going to put them over my lips as well, basically. Just to block out the natural colour of my lips. Right, and then because we still have a little bit of concealer on the back of our hands from when we carved out the brows earlier on, I'm just going to pick that up on the 4SS Inglot brush and take it underneath the eyes and then I like bringing my concealer down a little bit as well I'm just gonna put it on the like center areas of my face in I guess what people call the t-zone um, and then when it comes to the brows as well if we didn't carve them on the um, upper side, we can just brush a bit of the concealer across them, just like that. And we will blend out the rest of the concealer. For powders, I'm going to pick up it with the Charlotte Tilbury brush. This has got quite a lot on it already, so it'll work great. And I'm gonna pick up this one here. This is a palette that I made myself using Inglot pigments, but um, I know that this one's in the shade 65. It's one of their pressed powders. Um, that's one thing I'll say, that Inglot are quite 
good at. They've got their like freedom system it's called, which is what I made all this up of. Um, one of their makeup artists who works there, she did my makeup and I basically fell in love with what she did. I do it on every single night out now, but I um, actually bought the stuff that she did that look with. So that's what most of these colours are, apart from that pink one at the top that I actually fancy that because I like the look of it really. But I do powder my face quite a lot. Um, not only because I'm like, I'm not oily or anything, I just, I don't know, I'm just quite looking. I like to look quite matte. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm just going to pick up the JH02 brush and the MAC bronzer in the shade Golden. And I'm gonna go on the top of my forehead. I think you've got a large forehead, you've got uh, quite a lot of room to work with. And then I'm just gonna do the cheekbones as well. Next is contouring, highlighting. My favorite part of makeup, probably. Definitely. Um, so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. It looks like this. Um, and the brushes I'm going to use are the Zoeva 134 for highlighting and the Inglot 15 BJF for contouring. So as always, we're going to contour first. I'm just going to pick it up a little bit. And then we're going to go cheeks. So we start at the back because that's where you'll want the most pigment towards the back. And then bring it forwards. And then forehead as well. And then for nose contouring, because it already kind of looks like my nose is a little bit contoured, but it's not in any way. So I'm just going to take the same brush and just basically just go down it like that and then across like that. And yeah, that works fine for me. And then highlight the top of the cheekbones as always up a little bit above the brow nose down the bridge of the nose and the same on the other side as well okay so it's time to do the under eyes now so as always i'm just picking up this little charlotte tilbury brush i'm going to go in with the shade amber and i'm going to go underneath and make sure to join them up as well After that, I'm just going to go through with my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in the shade Supermodel. It's just like a brow mascara or with a tiny, tiny little wand if you can see that there. And it just picks up literally every single individual brow hair and I just like that look. Okay, I've just put on a little bit of liner, put on the Tom Ford liner as well as the NARS Climax Mascara. This is literally the coolest bottle I think I've ever seen. I say it's bottle, it's a mascara, but you get the point. Um, and I'm just going to put on some tatty lashes in the um, Style TL19, look like that. I'll put them on and I'll be back in two seconds. And lashes are on. So I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm Blush with a powder brush from Real Techniques for um, blush, for blush, so we're just going to, I don't really know why I like my br brush, a blush, I just kind of put it where I feel like on the day to be honest with you. And for my lips as well, I'm just going to use the MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. And I'm just going to use my Inglot um, lipstick in the shade for... 404, so 404. 
And then as always, finish off my Inglot um, makeup fixer. I'm just gonna basically drench myself in this. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to dry two seconds. There we go, I've got my, my big hoops earrings in as well. So that is it for this makeup tutorial today. Thank you so much for anyone who has been sticking around, <laughs> pretty much. And I've been a little bit absent recently. A lot has been going on, um, but, but I'm gonna talk about that because that's not fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this eye look. I'll let you have a little closer look at it. It's just a bit fun and um, yeah. I think it's quite nice with a palette that's been out quite a while now um but yeah so i hope you guys loved it as always thank you so much for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you there bye guys